Donkey Kong, Miss Pac-Man. But can you imagine getting paid 50,000 bucks minimum to play these video games? Well, these kids can. Watch this. That was nice. Oh. It may just look like kids playing video games. Get out of there, boys. Run! Run for the hills! But these are, in fact, professional athletes changing the face of sport. What a titanic struggle back and forth! Move over NFL, NBA, and MLB. There is a new major sports league in town, and it is creating major buzz. Overwatch is the multiplayer global video game with its own league launched last year. It is taking the world by storm with millions of fans and giving a platform to esports we've never seen before. Gaming is now like my career. It's like the forefront of my life. Um, and everything is centered around it. I never thought I'd be able to be, become a professional like this. This is just, we're just treated like superstars. Jake Lyon and Shane Flaherty play for the Houston Outlaws. The Overwatch League is a global professional sports league. It's just that the sport we're playing is a video game. They're chasing me. It works just the same way that traditional sports leagues work. The highest skilled people in the world are playing a game for spectators. I think this is a sport. Fans enjoy it. That's what matters most. You can't have sports without fans. And I think that it has enough viewership for these big time investors like Robert Kraft. He's talking about New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, who owns one of the 12 league franchises. Other owners include Jeff Wilpon, who runs the New York Mets, as well as the Kroenke family, who own the LA Rams. Just like more traditional sports, the journey to the top requires lots of training. So we usually practice as a team six, six days a week, um, and that team practice um, starts at around noon, and we'll probably go until um, maybe 6 p.m. Their fans appreciate the dedication, some even waiting in line to meet the team at a recent Houston event. Oh, I love the Outlaws like a lot. It's just really cool to have a team that just loves their fans so much and just wants to come out and meet them. Thank, Thank you. you. These professional gamers are currently in their debut season, competing for a prize pool of $3.5 million and are still getting used to having millions of fans watching their every move in real life and online. I don't think that any of us is really used to this yet. Uh, like having, you know, this many people who are excited to meet us is like kind of a crazy experience. So we're just soaking it all in. And we're back now with two faces of the future of sports. And it is nowhere near a field or a court. It's all online. Joining me now, two of the best known players of the Overwatch League, Jake Lyon and Shane Flaherty of the Houston Outlaws. Welcome to you both. All right, so it's Jake, and I know, Shane, you like to go by Rockus, which I kind of like. Um, I still don't get it, so please explain it to me. As like, Assume I am a third grader. The, the, the thing is, you sit in a room and you do video games, but you're on the same team, and you're competing against other teams who are in other rooms doing the same thing. So, exactly. Let's start off with, you know, what the game is, right? Because a lot of people, you know, think competitive gaming, you're just playing every game, you know, where's it, where's it really focused? And we only play Overwatch. That's, that's our game. That's where we compete. Uh, much the way, you know, uh, uh, an athlete would only play one, you know, game. They could only compete at the highest level in one thing. Uh, and Overwatch is... What is it? Yeah. Exactly. It's a, it's a team-based uh, action game by Blizzard Entertainment. It uh, has over 35 million active players. Uh, it's, it's one of What's the most the popular games to come out in a long time. You, you compete as a team to complete various objectives on a map. Um, mostly the, the, the center of the game is working together to accomplish, you know, some sort of bigger objective. So you, you do need your teammates to be as good as you are. Absolutely. You, you, you really can't do much at all in the game by yourself. You know, almost everything, especially at the highest level, relies on trusting your teammates, coordinating with your teammates, uh, working together to execute plays. So how do people come watch this? How does the consumer experience this? Well, the game has a spectator client. So, you know, as we play in the game uh, in a server, uh, it's, it's, there's, there's sort of digital cameras. You know, imagine uh, there's, there's no, no need for a physical camera, of course, but they can just the observers can move throughout the game uh, without ever being noticed by a player. Um, and, and that allows to, uh, the broadcasters to create a unique spectator experience. Is there any sort of conditioning? So, you know, like, it just it seems just sort of like with the, th with the fingers. Do you, have, do you have to go to, go to the gym or <laughs> team bonding, anything? Well, one thing that we've found actually is that, you know, as you progress to the higher levels of the game, it's, it's not just about, you know, who has spent the most hours playing the game, who has the most knowledge. You know, the, the elements of trust, coordination, communication, these things are much more important at the highest level. Um, so we're, you know, getting into maximizing our sleep schedule, our diet, you know, 
uh, living a healthy lifestyle. Like if you don't do these things, you just can't compete at the highest level. I, this is fascinating to me. Fascinating. Listen, also with us today, we've got the chief marketing officer of the Overwatch League, Daniel Cherry, along with sports columnist Mike Lupica, who's author of Team Players. Welcome to you guys as well. Thank All right, so, so walk me through it, Daniel, because these guys are getting paid to do this. The, the league minimum is 50 grand a year? Yes. And do, how high does it go potentially? Um, so there currently isn't a salary cap. So the scale is as good as, and is to me, demand of the players. Um, so the reality is I don't see these guys any different um, and these players any different than a LeBron James, a Stephen Curry. They are the elite of the elite at what they do globally. Wow. Because Overwatch League is a global league. Now, so Overwatch League, is that like, Mike, is that like the NFL? Like, is that the today's version of the NFL, only an online well, yeah, game? Yeah, Megan, this is how they've dialed it up. I mean, they're, they're now envisioning Boston playing against New York or Boston playing against Houston and Miami playing against Houston. But as I'm listening to this, my, my little heart is breaking because um, I have three sons from 26 to 30, and I, I never knew that ultimately I'd be able to monetize this. And <laughs> Exactly. I was thinking of all the hours, and I, I was with my youngest son last night, and I said, you know, to get really good, these guys practice like 14 and 16 yes. hours a day. And he looked at me and said, and you have a problem with that, Dad? Um, because he, these guys, I couldn't compute the hours that my sons who have real jobs, have spent their lives playing games. Right, right. And we all tell our kids to get off the games, that it's going to ruin your life and it's going to ruin your mind, and quite the contrary. So wait, do you live together, Rockus? Do you all live together? We all live in the same apartment complex, but okay. some of us have, like, individual apartments, some share. So, yeah, we live together as, like, a team, technically. And who are the fans? I mean, the fans are really, that's one of the most stunning things to me as I've come up in this career, because, you know, I would have never expected myself to be here one year ago. Um, but the fans are just, it's an incredibly diverse group. You know, we have young and old. Um, well, it looks like mostly guys. Are there gals, too? Uh, actually, I, I found that it's remarkably um, well split uh, as far as... I'll bet you have some female fans. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm just going to take a shot here. Can I just ask you, right, Lego, what do your parents think of this? I mean, let, you know, like, Mike, they must be like, yes, yes, you're actually making a living out of that stuff I thought you were just messing around with in the basement. I really, I have to give a shout out to my parents because I really appreciate the way they approached um, gaming as I was, you know, doing it growing up. It was always my passion is what I wanted to be doing. I, I knew I wanted to compete, um, even at the time when, you know, there was no real money in it and it was just for the, the thrill of the competition. Yep. Um, and they, they were okay with it. They accepted I was going to invest my time in this, but they always made sure that I was living a balanced lifestyle, focusing academically, you know, completing extracurricular wow. activities, you know. They it's believed like, in it's you. It's like anything in life. If you want to be really successful, you have to have like a diverse range of skills. And they Amazing. really gave that to me. Good for you guys. Thank you so much for bringing us up, up to speed on it. I want to tell the audience, again, Mike's book is called Team Players. You can check it out. And we should mention that one of the teams in the Overwatch League was purchased by Brian Roberts, who happens to be the CEO of our parent company, Comcast.